Module 3, Creativity Activities. Hi fellow students. Did you enjoy our triangle challenge activity? For today, we are going to move from drawing to storytelling, which gives you more autonomy to present your creativity. This is going to be so much fun. Activity 2, Storytelling. Before introducing the activity, I advise you to prepare a set of paper and pens, so your ideas can be recorded. In this activity, I would like you to come up with a short, coherent story in a limited period of time using three random images provided to you as follows. 1. Image showing 2025. 2. Toy Bear. 3. Train. You can choose either to write down this story, record it, or directly tell the story to your friends for feedback. Now pause this video for 20 minutes and start composing your creative stories. Welcome back. I'm eager to hear your creative stories. Do you still remember in module two, we identified five useful strategies for you to cultivate creative habits in daily life. Which of them did you adopt when you developed this creative story? Or which of them would you like to use? Let's take one strategy for example, making connections between irrelevant objects using imagination. How can we employ this activity as a perfect opportunity to train this skill? The undefined images allow a lot of flexibility to use your imagination. Is 2025 a year? A car plate? Person's age? What kind of train would it be? Where is this train heading? What does this toy bear look like? Can the toy bear talk? Stretch your mind and try to develop the connection between these irrelevant images. For example, one student wrote about a little girl who found this teddy bear left alone in a train station. She then got on this train numbered as 2025 and traveled to a parallel world. The more illogical a combination seems, the more interesting and creative the story will be. If you find this useful, you may start another story by using some other random images. One way to generate random images is by simply opening a magazine and selecting the first three images you see. Or refer to the most recent images your best friend sent you. In this way, you can practice creative storytelling anytime you like. This is the end of activity two. Feel free to contact us and share your creative stories. Here we have questions for you to reflect on. Feel free to share your opinions via Yokel.